Hello YouTubers, do you have one of those 160 LED video lights that you bought for about 20 to 30 dollars and it came with no DC input? So today what I'm going to show you is how to make it work with DC input while retaining battery operation. I know a lot of people don't use soldering iron so in this mod we won't be using one either. And here's a list of what we will need. A jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver pliers, preferably the needle nose type pliers, not the one pictured here. We will need two wire taps, one for negative, one for positive. We will need a 6 to 9 volt AC to DC power adapter. Female connector. And last but not least, Rockstar punched. Yes. Let's do this. Here is how my 160 LED camera light looks like. Now yours might look a little bit different, for example the dimmer switch might be at a different spot but I'm pretty sure once you open it up the guts are going to be very similar. Don't be discouraged if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. Don't worry about brands because uh, they just put brands on these like there's no tomorrow. I may be a little all over the place because it's the first time I'll be doing this, figuring it out as I go. Please keep that in mind. But also believe that it's equally important to know what not to do. So I left some mistakes in there, I left my thought process and how I figured stuff out. Let's say you're home and you want to shoot a YouTube video and you need a light because it's dark and uh, your batteries are not charged or they're low and you know you're not going to be able to shoot for an hour or two with those batteries. Wouldn't it be nice to just be able to plug your 160 LED camera light to your power outlet and just run it forever? One of the things we need to consider is that we need to get that power in before the dimmer, just like the batteries. Because if you put it after the dimmer, obviously you're not going to be able to dim and you'll be bypassing that circuit and I don't think it'll be too safe for the LED lights. To help you out, I put a link of a video showing how to use these wire taps in detail. There are four screws that we need to unscrew to the inside of the light. As you can see, one of them is stubborn, so I'm just going to push it out and put those in a safe place there. And uh, we're just going to try to figure out how to get to the inside of this. And we can't get to it from the back side because there, that's where the batteries go. So we're just going to pry it open like that. So it's actually the LED lights that come out. And here it is, the inside. Now what it is, is the power comes from the batteries and goes to the dimmer circuit first and then from there to the LED lights. As you may have figured out, the way we're gonna put our DC input, the female connector to our circuit is with these uh, wire tabs. You wanna open them up a bit because you don't wanna put too much strain on the cables while you're trying to slide them in. Another thing we need to consider is the placement of the DC input connector, the female connector. You need to figure out where you're going to put it. Now, I think the best place would be the bottom, but that's just me. And for me, it worked out really well, as you'll see later in the video. So we're just going to open up a hole at the bottom. And here we go. Let's see if it's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and slide in the female connector. And perfect. I mean, couldn't get any better than that. Now the next step is to figure out where we're going to put the wire taps. That's also a very important step. Actually, it might be the most important step because it is tight in there, space-wise. And these wire, wire taps aren't necessarily small. So the placement of the wire taps is very important. One, it needs to be before the dimmer circuit. Two, it needs to fit inside the light casing. Once you tackle those issues, it's a smooth sail from there. So I went ahead and put the first wire tap for the positive uh, where you see it. It's the longest running red cable, which is the positive. And, um, of course it didn't work because it doesn't fit. You can't close the light as it is right now. But I'm gonna go ahead with the negative terminal now 
which is the black cables and as you can see I found a pretty good spot for that wire tap and with the needle nose pliers I'm actually closing it up right now and uh, as you can see it's not too easy but it's not really hard I have fat hands so um, so there it is the negative terminal wire tap is in place and it's actually a pretty good spot for it and I know that those places I put the wire taps are before the dimmer circuit now I'm gonna undo the positive terminal wire tap that I put there before because there it just won't close we need to figure out another spot so the only other spot that I can put it is where you see right there but the cable length there is really short so I won't be able to actually pass it through but that's fine as long as I can get the loop to make contact with the middle piece inside the wire tap we're good to go so that's what I'm gonna try to do now put the loop inside the wire tap and again with the help of the needle nose pliers I'm uh, closing the middle part and trying to fit that second wire tap which is the positive now right next to the negative and we have light and it fits perfect another thing we need to consider here is if we yank on that cable the power cable it might damage the cables inside the connections inside so I'm gonna put a zip tie and tighten it up so that when we yank on the cable the tension is on the zip tie and doesn't put any strain on the connections. I'm going to tighten up a little bit more. Don't worry, you can you can go as far as you can with the zip on damage it. And let's check it out. Here we go. We're closing it up. And it closed. Perfect. Now we're just going to go ahead and assemble it. Screw our four screws back in place and test it. Of course, I would recommend you test this before you close the circuit, just in case. We also need to check to see if it's going to work with the batteries and without the DC power. So I put the batteries in, they're fully charged and without the DC power it's working with the batteries like it did before perfect and I'm gonna go ahead and try it again with the batteries out DC power in we have power and it works with the dimmer mission accomplished I put together a package that you can purchase on eBay that includes the AC-DC power adapter, the female connector, two wire taps and a zip tie that I've used in this video for 10 bucks. That way you don't have to worry about mismatching the male connector from the power adapter to the female connector. You know, they come in different sizes and the power rating of the power adapter. It's all there in this package already done for you. Do this mod at your own risk. Always make sure you unplug the DC power before you put batteries in or take the batteries out before you plug your DC power in.